Hey guys, so it is Thursday, July 20th. I am going to try to start vlogging again. I don't know if this will see the light of day, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. If you guys have been following me for a while, I was doing vlogs previously, like organizing my office and such. Um, I've kind of put that on hold until I can get some um, shelves or another desk in here. I'm working on a few options right now because it's getting out of control again. Like it's just out of control. Like I don't, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing at this point, or like how I would keep organizing until I find some more storage space in here because it's crazy. Not that I'm complaining, I'm not complaining, but there just needs to be a few more things before I can organize because those vlogs would just be like a hot mess. But I thought what I could do. So I talked about this in my like summer makeup bucket list video. And that video was inspired because my friends and I created our own summer bucket list with different like restaurants to try, activities to do, trips to take, things like that. And we've been working the past couple weeks through our bucket list. And we have one thing that we're, no, two things that we're doing tonight from the bucket list. And then we have kind of like a, like a small party going on this weekend. But I thought I could take you guys along with that and, you know, show you some of the things that we're doing around um, our town in Iowa and just like a little glimpse into my life kind of thing instead of being more of like a structured type of vlog just doing some more like casual into my life kind of vlog so let me know if you guys like that idea I just got home I had to run to Verizon if you guys follow me on snapchat I know I mentioned it on YouTube obviously if you follow me on Twitter then you've been seeing me just like blow up Verizon because I'm so frustrated with them we keep getting charged data like while we're home sleeping on wi-fi only my husband's phone from like 4 to 5 a.m it's using like almost a gig of data like our data is through the roof and verizon's like you guys should just switch to unlimited data for two people one who works from home no 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 i don't think we need unlimited data i think you need to fix your shit is what i think and um and it's funny though because I said it on Snapchat and so many people started coming back with Verizon did the same thing to me. They fall behind this. Oh, you must have weak Wi-Fi signal. Again, only Mitch's phone. Not my phone is being affected. Just Mitch's phone and we're on the same Wi-Fi. But okay, sure thing Verizon. So they're like, you must have weak Wi-Fi signal. And everybody's like, they're saying the exact same thing to me. So we switched to another company and everything's fine. Our data is completely fine. All of a sudden our Wi-Fi signal is fine with a different company. I'm like, oh, okay. So I went in today mostly for to trade my phone because I just got the new like S8 or whatever and the guy said to come in and trade in my phone which of course that didn't make any sense to me because when I went in to get my phone they were like oh if you trade it in it's $300 and we put it in towards your monthly bill like you won't actually get the money it just goes to your bill and it's only like $15 a month for the next year and I'm like okay whatever so i go in today and the guy's like i can give you 101 dollars and 50 cents in a gift card i'm like can you guys just get your story straight like just get it straight get it together what is wrong with you i'm like whatever just give me the gift card like jesus and then i switched my plan there and it's so funny though because i was talking to the employee and you know i'm a pretty happy person i like to think i'm a pretty happy person but I was just mad. I didn't want to be there. I was so frustrated. And as we were talking, he like pulls up the account and goes, ooh, did you know that you're over your data? I go, totes. And he just kind of looked at me. I was like, I've been fighting with Verizon all week on this issue. And you know, now I've taken it to Twitter. And he goes, are you roasting them on Twitter? I'm like, I like to think I am. He goes, that's so cool. Keep roasting them. I'm like, you're a Verizon employee. What do you mean? And he's like, he goes, I mean, I like my cell phone plan and I like that they pay my rent, but I do not like this company. I'm like, what? Like, so many people have snapped and sent me tweets and even put on YouTube and I just keep putting them all on Twitter. Like, keep sending them in. I'll just keep putting them out on Twitter. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but like, I hope it does because it is ridiculous the amount of shadiness that Verizon has. I, was, I just got home and I'm feeling all sorts of flustered. I also had to wait for 40 minutes to get help at Verizon at 10.30 on a Thursday afternoon. Like, oh, okay, sure thing. So, um, but other than that, I just got home, traded in my phone, changed my plan to 16 gigabytes for two people. One who works from home on Wi-Fi, but okay, so we have 16 gigs now. We went from four, four, four. <laughs> But it's not Verizon's fault. It's not Verizon's fault. There's nothing shady going on here, so. You okay, girlfriend? 
You all right? Okay. Um, so anyways, I'm just gonna, I don't know, set the camera up throughout my day. I don't know if I'll be able to get a workout in because that took so long. I was gonna record some of my workout, but that might have to be for another day because I'm about to make some lunch. I'm working on editing Saturday's video. I'm working on getting tomorrow's video ready. I have to do my makeup at some point. And then tonight we are going to the Des Moines Botanical Gardens. On Thursday they have like drinks and food and live music and things like that and that's on our bucket list to do. We've never been to the botanical gardens. And then after that we are going to a ramen place. Um, my husband Mitch actually put that one on the list. It's called like Crunch Witch or something like that and it has a bunch of like ramen dishes. We've never been to anything like that so I'm super excited to give it a try so I'll try to take you guys with me. The hard part for me to vlog, I mean A, like I don't vlog and you know, I'm not comfortable yet. And I know a lot of people talk about this in their vlogs, like they feel weird with their cameras and their tripods and talking to a camera and, and things like that. So that's definitely gonna be weird. But I also don't know if I wanna take my Sony A5100 because if anything happens to it, that's my only camera. You know what I'm saying? So I might just bring my phone and, you know, do some video clips on there and like see how it goes and see how I can even upload them to my computer and stuff. But I don't know. I might do that. It just makes me a little nervous to bring the Sony out um, because just if anything happened to it, like I'm pretty screwed filming videos and with filming every single day, you know, I definitely need a camera. Back to work. Aries is clearly just exhausted. So I don't know how much help she's going to be to me today, but I'm gonna get back to work. But uh, yeah, we'll see how this vlogging thing goes. gonna make some lunch. I don't know if you guys can see. I bought this pasta the other day at the grocery store and I didn't realize it but it's actually Star Wars pasta so the actual pasta noodles are shaped like I think that's Yoda. I don't even know but I'm like cool that's that's what I do. So I do work from home full time and honestly I feel like one of the huge benefits is like choosing what I want to eat because before I went full time and I get asked a lot if I do YouTube full time like I consider myself just a full time dream chaser, a full time entrepreneur because I do so many different things. Um, I write books, I work in like marketing in the book industry, I do like a lot of editing and proofreading and things like that. And then I also do YouTube and I do consider that to be pretty full time. I work really hard on my channel, my Instagram and my social media and things like that. But so before I went full time at home, I worked at a hospital, I worked at a VA hospital and it was always so hard meal wise. Like it's so frustrating sometimes to figure out what to bring in for work. Like sometimes I would just have lean cuisines there, but then you have those days where you eat a lean cuisine and you feel like you ate a cracker and you're like, well, I need more. And then you're going to like the hospital cafeteria to try to get food and, or like some days I would try to make my sandwiches ahead of time. But then by the time you eat your sandwich, like it's kind of gotten soggy. It just was always such a hard thing. And I know like my husband eats out every single day, which I'm trying to get him to stop doing. I'm like, we have the means that you can make something. Like I used to do these meals a lot. I would make them the night before, put them in a Tupperware, put them in the fridge and then just grab them and take them to work with me and heat them up. I'm like, you really need to do something else because A, it's expensive to eat out every day. It just seems ridiculous. But I'm like, it's not even good for you. Like it's so bad because you know, it's not like he's like, always making the healthiest choices like yeah sometimes he goes to subway or jimmy john's but sometimes it's like chick-fil-a and chipotle and five guys and i'm just like how do you do that to your body i feel like if i would do that every single day i don't even want to know man like not even only just like gaining weight but what it does for you on the inside like that freaks me out i've struggled with high cholesterol so just thinking about eating that way just kind of like whoa i'm trying really hard to get him to stop but um but definitely working from home like just eating, being able to choose what I, want, what I want to eat, being able to like have the freedom to just like have time to make something 
is so nice and I don't always do the best at it. A lot of times I get a coffee in the morning or sometimes I do like to make smoothies. So if we have like fruit and stuff in the house, I'll make a smoothie. But even for lunch, a lot of times I'm just so busy. I'll just make a turkey and cheese sandwich and eat some chips and you know, that's, that's my lunch. But we just went to the grocery store last night and I bought this pasta and it's literally been on my mind ever since. So I thought I could make the pasta. Probably won't be able to eat all of it, but I figure if I have a little snack, I can eat it before we go to the event tonight because we're not gonna be able to eat dinner until later because we probably won't get there until like 5.36. And it says they have like small plates or something like that. Um, but then we wanna have dinner at the Crunchwich Ramen Place afterwards. So we're probably not gonna have, you know, any sort of early dinner. So I thought I could at least make somewhat of a decent lunch and then either just have a big lunch or be able to have a snack before we have to leave the house. So I'm not like starving because I'm used to eating dinner at like five. I swear like Mitch and I are, I don't know why. We're just starving at that time. But it's kind of nice because if we ever go out to a restaurant, they're usually pretty uh, not busy. <laughs> Really healthy lunch, mostly because there's peas in it, but I'm not gonna eat the peas because I don't like peas. So, just some chicken and some pasta today. eating it is like 12 30 but I think for my makeup today sometimes when I do my makeup I'm filming for an Instagram tutorial and those can just take longer to film but I think I'm just gonna film regular makeup today and then film a YouTube video so I think I'm gonna like let my food settle for a little bit and then I'm gonna do a workout because I really do want to get my, I try to work out every single day and obviously I know with us being gone all night tonight I'm not gonna be able to work out tonight so I think I'm just gonna skip doing the Instagram tutorial so that way I can fit my workout in, especially since I don't know what I'm eating tonight and I'll probably be having a few drinks. So today is not a good day to skip a workout. I show on my Snapchat my workouts, but I use the Grokker app. I've been using this for like three or four years or something. Here comes Aries. <laughs> I've been using it for so many years. It's just an app, like this is what it looks like when I pull it up on my phone. And then there's all these different workouts you can do and you have a calendar. So I always add things to my calendar so I can just come in every day and like see what's on my calendar, what I have to do next and that sort of thing. So, and then I always take a screenshot of it and I share it on my Snapchat. So today's workout, I'm doing a 20 minute bar workout. Bar workouts are so good for your legs and your butt. Oh my gosh, but they hurt so bad, so I'm probably not gonna be able to walk very well tonight. But I just go ahead and screenshot it and I share it on my Snapchat. I always have Grucker listed down below because you do have to pay for the app, but you can use it every single day. Like if you're someone who works out at home, uh, I really recommend it because it's a lot cheaper than like going to the gym or having a gym membership. They are having a special right now because I'm an affiliate with them, um, you know, because I love them and I've used them for years. They're having a special right now for I think like 20% off their one year membership. So I always have Grokker linked down below because I do have an affiliate link that you can get a free two week trial if you sign up with the link and then see how you like it and if you would use it. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna share this on my Snapchat. I'm gonna finish up this chapter. I'm always reading, you will always see me reading. And then I'm going to get my workout in.
I just got done with my workout, my legs. <gasps> oh, my legs. What do you guys see, Aries? Oh, what are we doing, girl? She usually sleeps on the chair all during my workout. She's such a big help. Oh, oh were you, were you sleeping? Were you sleeping? Tell everybody, tell everybody you were sleeping. I interrupted you. I woke it. I woke you up, huh? Aww. If you guys haven't met Aries, this is Aries. She's a Vishla. She'll be four in September. And she is my best friend. You are my best friend, aren't you? Tell everybody you love to work out, huh? She was a little too tired for her workout today, so. It's cool, guys. It's only 100 degrees. Yeah, sorry, not sorry. We'll be here. Slightly roasting. Hydrania sounds like a plumber <laughs> term. Can you hear me? Oh my god. Does that feel good? Have it your way. Is that the thing? Is yeah, that the... I think it is. Alright. Right. I feel like my vlog footage is mostly going to be them. This video is now endorsed by Hanes. Yes. Sometimes I feel like I look like I'm endorsed by Come and Go because every morning I'm drinking <laughs> a coffee and I always make sure to like put it in the frame. I'm like, I should say something like, not sponsored by Come and Go. Just beat it. Rich Dude, you should like destroy the 5K. You... Destroy it. No, I have not. Oh. A recommendation. Oh, okay. It's on Ingersoll, so head that direction a little bit. But it's on Ingersoll. Hey, you get Lincoln Park going, I'll, I'll find where this place is. I'm 100% sure it's on Ingersoll. Statement. Can I do oh. this for right now? No, no, no. Uh, oh, uh, I need to pull my dress up. Wellman's? Yeah. Original Wellman's. Original Wellman's. Yep. Original Wellman's. Gotcha. Do you know where the Poncheros is on Ingersoll? Mm, no. Don't stress, don't stress. Don't we know where Sakari is. Yep. It's on the same side of the street as Sakari. Okay. The same block, but like opposite end. True. Is it the opposite In which end direction? Of, okay. To the west. I don't know what that means. I don't know. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys see who's there? Cause I didn't. What? Up down. There's Woolies right there. Who's at Woolies tonight? Uh, right, mm. thanks, I can't see. Reboot. The phone? No, oh, got it. Oh, why does it keep going to that? Hey guys, so it's now Sunday the 23rd. I don't know how well I did vlogging this weekend. I gave it my best shot, but I did not take my Sony camera out. I just like, I'm just too paranoid that I'm going to hurt it. So a lot of it was on my phone and I don't know, that's just like kind of awkward, especially holding it and I'm just not great at vlogging yet. I'm not great at asking people to help me. Like, you know, it's just kind of weird. But it was some pretty good days. Hopefully I got some good stuff at the Botanical Gardens because that was actually a lot of fun. Um, and then we went to the ramen house. That was actually way good. I really, really did like the ramen house. And then Friday we didn't do anything, but Saturday we did go to the smoke and I started to vlog a little bit there, but then we had an incident happen. My friends were playing beer darts. And if you don't know what beer darts is, People like sit in a circle outside and they have like a beer can basically by their feet. And then people around the circle take turns throwing darts at the beer can. And I guess depending on like wherever you hit, like matters how much you drink. I've never played because I don't want people throwing darts at me. Okay? Like that sounds like a bad idea, right? Like who wants to do that? No, not me. No thanks. And so I'm just sitting there watching and next thing you know, my best friend Shannon has a dart embedded in her big toe. Okay, like 
so far in her toe. I was horrified, like horrified. And everyone's starting to like jump up and run around and like, what do we do? And Shannon goes to pull it out and then she realizes how deep it is in her toe. And she's like, I don't know, I don't wanna pull it out. It's gonna bleed everywhere. And it did and it was like, don't play beer darts. It just seems like a bad idea. I don't know. Oh my gosh. It was so gross. It was so gross. Okay, I saw her today, Sunday. We um, had brunch today, which ugh, I totally meant to vlog brunch and I forgot. I'm so sorry, but we went to brunch and she said that she can still walk on it. It's just swollen and pretty sore, but it, it seems like it'll be okay, hopefully. But oh my gosh, that happened. And then the rest of the night just was kind of like had a funky vibe to it. And I didn't even bother to pull out my camera. So, oh man, oh man. But um, I am gonna wrap up the vlog today and just see how I did for these couple of days and see if I'm able to put anything together. I'm hoping to try to vlog this coming weekend too. We're going to the Dubuque County Fair. We're doing a mud volleyball tournament. We're doing a 5K. And then we're also, I think we're going roller skating Friday night, all three things on our summer bucket list too. So I'm excited about it, but it's about a three and a half hour car ride there. So I think we're gonna leave Friday. And then the volleyball tournament isn't until Sunday, so we might actually just spend the night there Sunday too and head back on Monday. So I will try. Maybe I'll even take my Sony along. I'm not sure. And then obviously at the fair, I don't know who's going to vlog us like doing the 5K and in the volleyball tournament because we're all going to be doing it. But I will see what I can do. But yeah, um, hopefully this vlog is somewhat cohesive and makes sense and hopefully you enjoy it. If you want to see more vlogs like this, of course, let me know and I can try to get better at uh, pulling my camera out and and things like that. But yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. If you do like the vlogs, make sure to give them a thumbs up. I hope that you'll also subscribe before you go and I'll catch you guys real soon in my next one. Bye!